Hello everyone, welcome to our analysis. So this is our concept through problem solving part. Now here I'm taking a question, uh, the question which is which was asked in IIT JAM examination 2019 uh, for two marks. Okay, so the question is quite interesting and quite conceptual. Uh, that's why I'm taking this question. The con this question has a two types of concept that has been used to this uh, to this overall uh, reactions. That now see what is the question? The question is the major product of the following reaction is. Uh, now see you have given a substrate like this, and you have to you have, you have given the reagent that is metachlorobenzoic acid. And now we all know what is metachlorobenzoic acid. That is in short we we said this MCBPA. Okay. MC MCPBA okay that is meta chlorobenzoic acid now see how the reaction proceed and how the overall reactions has been occurred I am written over here and I'll show you how the mechanism of this reaction proceed okay now see uh, you have to know first that uh, what the metachlorobenzoic acid does uh, what is the role of this metachlorobenzoic acid now see metachlorobenzoic acid is a uh, very much cheaper and it's also uh, it can be it can form easily uh, from a given substrate and another thing is that it is a very much electrophilic reagent okay so it and it also forms a epoxide now this is the important point is that the important point is that the MCPPA is formed a epoxide in a alkene in an alkene okay so if we take a compound uh, the, at first we have to know the mechanism of MCPPA okay so I am the written over the general mechanism of MCPPA that is if we take compound like this this is our alkene this alkene uh, we have taken this mcvp now see i have written the structure over here that what is the structure of mcvp that is metachlorobenzoic acid here is your chloro and the, here is your par acid okay so this is our metachlorobenzoic acid okay that is par acid okay now see what is the mechanism i am not written the overall structure overall structure here and this part is i am in generalized and i am written over here is r okay so the given uh, this is your r this r part is here just nothing but this one okay so your our rest part is like this now see what is the mechanism of this and how the reaction process and how the epoxide is formed uh, from this type of uh, by this this type of reagents okay now uh, see this uh, this double bond this double bond will attack over this oxygen center and this oxygen has a lone pair of electron and it will also attack over this uh, carbon center and that is why this uh, three membered ring oxygen type ring is formed now see this is our general pathway and these bonds go here and this oxygen has a lone pair of electron and it will take a proton from here that is these bonds actually okay that's how the reaction from now see the intermediate what is the intermediate of this reaction the intermediate of this reaction is like this this is our upside okay these two methyl groups are in upside and this is in your back side now see uh, here is your bond now see this type of bond has been formed during this reaction this is your R this bond and this is your oxygen and this will now see this is your overall intermediate during this MCBP epoxidation formation this is your transition state okay this is your transition state now see this type of transition state generally called uh, this type of transition is look like butterfly like structure okay so this is also called butterfly mechanism okay so this is also called butterfly mechanism okay so the, just because of this uh, this look like uh, uh, this is looks like a uh, uh, butterfly type com butterfly type compound butterfly like compound that's why it is called butterfly like mechanism so then the next step we get our ultimate we get our ultimate product This is our ultimate product. Now see, in case of, uh, there is a, another important that is just because of uh, the reaction initiates by the transfer of this pi electron of this uh, alkene. And that is just because of this is, uh, this alkene is in homo con homo, that is highest occupied molecular orbital. 
and the sigma star orbital of this oxygen oxygen bond which is weak in nature so that is why the lumo of this uh, lumo of this oxygen oxygen bond okay so of the par paroxy acid now this is the important one of the important feature is that in when uh, when we uh, discuss when we uh, use this type of compound that is here is your two types of uh, double bonds in present uh, present in your compound if we use mcbpa then what when 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 which side the epoxidation is takes place uh, now in this side either either this side or this side now which is more much more uh, much more substituted that is this double bond is much more substituted so this is very much electron rich so that is why and this is your electrophilic electrophilic addition type process so this is much more electron rich so it will attack over the so it, this center is selectively uh, attack attacked by the by the chlorobarbazic acid and in this side the epoxide is selectively formed okay and this side remain intact and that is the stereo this is a stereo selective process okay so this is your regio selective process this is your regio selective process now another important thing is that in the species uh, one of the important thing is that the stereo uh, specific reaction or uh, and it will uh, in the in presence of metachloroparbenzoic acid okay if you if you take the compound like this this oh is in upside and here is your double bond now this oh will uh, uh, will determine in the position how uh, when the and how this uh, epoxidation occur either is either the epoxide is in backside or is in upside this the important uh, feature of this reaction is this OH will determine the position of the epox epoxide. Okay, this OH is in upside, so that is why this OH group, this epoxide is also forming upside. Okay, this is just because of and there is your hydrogen. This is your hydrogen. Okay, now the important now the how why this type of uh, why this type of reaction is formed is just because of. Uh, there is a hydrogen bonding between this allylic alcohol and this metachloroparbenzoic acid okay so that is why this uh, that is why the ring the both both is in upside just because of oh it is in up, upside and this will attack uh, this will attach this metachloroparbenzoic acid attached with this allylic alcohol so th this this is in upside so that is that is why this uh, epoxide is epoxide epoxidation uh, of this ring is uh, possible just uh, because of this oh group okay in the upside okay that is the reason the reason is just hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding between the allyl alcohol and the epoxidizer which is used in uh, 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 medium that is metachloroparbenzoic acid okay now let's uh, move on our question a question is given to you that uh, this one and you have to put you have, to, you have given this base i uh, sorry uh, you have to given this metachloroparbenzoic acid now see let's take our compound is look like your 2 methyl group here is your OH and here is your CH2 now we all know what what will be our product after using metachloroparbenzoic acid the epoxide epoxy selective epoxidation is expressed in this position so after epoxidation now see there is another important thing is that in presence of metachloroparbenzoic acid the another important rearrangement or oxidation is done that is bare villager oxidation or bare villager rearrangement okay this thing is not uh, operating over here okay so this is your epoxy epoxidation of this double bond now see we, we, we use this um, in the medium that is metachloroparbenzoic acid as a reagent so when we use this metachloroparbenzoic acid that is this C double bond OOH is a double bond okay so this oxygen is takes a proton from this acid and it will goes back over here now there is a protonation of this oxygen and that's why your product is look like this okay now there is an important thing. There is an important chance to of this ring opening of the epoxidation ring opening. Now which side the ring will open? That this, either this side or this side. Now see if we use if we break this bond like this way, then there is a positive charge. This is primary, and if we use this way, then there is a positive positive charge that is tertiary. Okay, I have written the both possibility over here.
this is your OH and here is your positive charge. This is your primary and in this side here you have this side OH and here you have the positive charge. Now this is much more stable that is because of it is 3 degree and this is your 1 degree. Now there is a important concept or important rearrangement is takes place during this type of compound or this during this intermediate. Now there is a chance or possibility of this 1 2 rearrangement. Uh, if we numbering from here is 1, uh, sorry there is 1 here is 2. So there this is your rearrangement, this bond will migrate to the center. Okay, now see what will be our product. Okay, this is our OH, here is your positive charge, here is your 2 methyl group and this side is your OH. Now see, here we have the 5 bonds over here and this is your positive charge. Positive charge. Now this positive charge is formed just because of the oxygen has a oxygen has a lone pair of electron and it will stabilize this carbocation and just because of it will take up, it will leave the proton from here and here is your, it will form your double bond and that is why you get your final product is look like this here is your double bond so two methyl group and this is your wedge now the important thing that you have to uh, now this product is not given is like this now you have give, you have to rearrange this you have to rearrange this product now see how to rearrange this product if at first you have to numbering of this compound and uh, now see how the numbering is uh, has been done and that is there is your it is your number one car number one carbon now this is your number two this is your number three and this is your number four okay now see this is your number five and the important uh, number six is this and this is your number seven now see this compound now to re I have to rearrange this product we have to rearrange this product in the answer which is given to you like the like that way okay so for which you have to do this way okay now see you have to you have given the compound in this way also in this way so that is why you have to form the compound from your uh, your actual compound to in this way so that's why i have numbering over here that is one to seven like that now in your, uh, in your one position you have given this uh, ch2 is so that is your ch2 is and second this is your double one here is your two methyl now see the how numbering is match i match or not now see this is your number one carbon okay now so this is your number two this is your number three now this is your number four this is your number five and this is your number six now see there is in your five number five position you have the two methyl groups now here have to here you have the two methyl groups now in case in the number six that is this one here you have the uh, ketone group that is your ketone and in case of number one you have the CH2H group that is this one okay and this is uh, now what is the seven this is your number seven okay so that is how your you get your final product like this so this rearrangement is called this is one two rearrangement rearrangement and this is it is called Wagner mere win rearrangement okay so this is your final concept that is uh, that is this is your wagner mere win rearrangement okay now see check your options which is given to you uh, that is this is in this position your epoxidation and this here you have the four membered oxygen type ring and there is your also four member type of ring but the actual answer is this one so this is our correct option now see there is your number one that is this one and two three four here is your five and six and this is your seven and this this is your final product look like this okay so this is your final product now for this question you have to know to do important concept is that one is uh, what is the use of metachlorobenzoic acid and another important thing is the rearrangement reaction okay so that is how this product overall product is formed okay another important thing is that the question is directly taken from the laszlo kurti book okay i'm written over here this laszlo kurti 
book okay in in page number 477 you can get over there i will put the link of the of this book under on description you can go and check this check this page that is 477 in in wagner mervin rearrangement okay you can get easily and you can get easily the and how this reaction proceed and, and other examples also okay that's it okay so i hope this video is is useful for you and thank you so much for watching